Looking to buy the best monitor for photo editing that you can? You're in the right place. No matter your skill level, we've gathered together the very best photo editing monitors right now for all budgets in this buying guide. And as always, all the links to all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. We always keep the description up to date with information that wasn't mentioned in the video. So, for the most up-to-date information along with up-to-date pricing, check out that description. If this is your first time here, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this that will help you make better buying decisions. Also, give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you have any questions or contributions. Let's go to the list. Number 1. BenQ SW2700 PT the BenQ 27-inch SW2700PT display is a more affordable, color-accurate monitor for photo editing than some of the 32-inch behemoths on the market. It requires less desktop space to boot, but without sacrificing a high standard of image quality, making it one of the best monitors for photo editing you can get right now. It features a 2560 by 1440 resolution using the same 14-bit lookup table and offering the same 99% Adobe RGB coverage you can find on displays from other manufacturers that cost more than twice as much. Similarly, you get hardware calibration support and it comes with a nifty shading hood to eliminate glare from ambient light. While it may not support 4K resolution, the image quality is very good for digital photography. The SW2700PT is an excellent purchase if you want a professional display without the high price of larger 4K screens. Number 2. Asus PA329Q this monitor is one of the more expensive 4K monitors on the market, but it also offers some excellent high-tech features that you won't find in less expensive models. One of the main problems with the cheaper 4K monitors is they don't always have enough ports for all your devices. The PA329Q gets rid of this problem right away. In addition to four HDMI 2.0 ports, it also has a DisplayPort 1.2 and a Mini DisplayPort 1.2, allowing you to hook up several computers and gaming consoles simultaneously without the need for port swapping. Another major boon of this monitor is its customization and compatibility. It utilizes Asus ProArc calibration technology and is also compatible with most major hardware calibrators, including the Datacolor Spider 5 series, and X-Rite i1 Display Pro. The monitor lets you save your preferred color profiles to the monitor itself and switch between profiles at the touch of a key. With 100% Rec. 709 and 99.5% Adobe RGB True Color Reproduction, the PA32Q offers outstanding color results as well. This monitor is not tailored towards the high-end gaming, but it nevertheless offers solid performance and a 60Hz frame rate. Number 3. The ISO ColorEdge GC319X ISO trades heavily on a reputation for being the ultimate professional display brand. When you first see the clarity, vivacity, and brightness of the ISO display, it's immediately obvious why they're so much more expensive than the other monitors and cost far more than most of us spend on an entire PC. The latest version of ISO's flagship 31-inch professional monitor, the ColorEdge GC319X, builds upon its predecessor using an unmatched 24-bit lookup table for 10-bit color depth, supporting 99% Adobe RGB, 100% REC709, and 98% DCI P3 color spaces. It also supports a slightly wider 4K resolution of 4096 by 2160 conforming to the professional DCI 4K standard used by some professional studios. It has a unique built-in hardware color calibration tool that pops down with a click every time the monitor is power cycled, ensuring the colors remain in sync without needing to use a third-party colorimeter. 
New to this generation are hybrid log gamma and perceptual quantization for working with HDR video, a feature that, again, will be of most interest to studios and freelancers working with high-end imagery. Although most of us will take one look at the price and quickly move on, it should be remembered that the GC319X is a display that's on another level. It's aimed at the niche professional audience where business demands the best possible color accuracy and boy, it sure delivers on this front. Number 4. Dell U2518D if you're looking for a great monitor for photo editing that fits a more reasonable budget, Dell's Ultra Sharp range delivers a great image. This 25-inch Ultra Sharp U2518D squeezes in under the $300 mark, and although it doesn't offer the same absolute premium color reproduction of the priciest displays we've suggested, it's still capable of full sRGB coverage with a quality IPS panel that is accurate to a delta E of less than 3. Contrast levels of 1000 to 1 are some of the best in the price range, with 350 nits of brightness to produce a crystal clear image. The response time can go as low as 5 milliseconds, making it great for gaming on 2. The U2518D makes a good all-arounder display, whatever you're using your computer for. This is the best budget photo editing monitor you can get. Number 5. ViewSonic VP3881 The ultra-wide form factor is usually found in displays aimed at gaming or general computer use. So it's a pleasant surprise to see ViewSonic has stepped in to offer graphic artists a massive 37.5 inch 21 to 9 display with the VP3881. Ultra-wide displays such as this are like having two smaller monitors together on the desk without a bezel breaking up the desktop space. It gives you space to have multiple windows open at once, boosting productivity immensely as you have web pages, file explorers, and multiple editing applications on screen simultaneously. The image quality isn't quite in the same league as the other displays listed here. It offers 100% sRGB coverage, but a slightly narrower Adobe RGB conformity, and the 10-bit color depth is compensated by frame reference counting. But it has very complete set of image customization settings on the on-screen menus that's enough to make the VP3881 a cut above other ultra-wide screens. That's it for this video. For more information, check out the description. If you liked the video, please smash the like button. If you have a question or contributions, drop it in the comments below. Also, subscribe to this channel for more information like this that will help you make better buying decisions. Enjoy the rest of your day.